And welcome back. The Bowery Mission is a faith-based organization that actually provides compassionate care, such as food, shelter, clothing, showers, and chapel services for homeless and hungry individuals. The program ministers to people caught in the cycles of poverty, hopelessness, and dependencies of many kinds. The Bowery Mission has been keeping its doors to, I should say, keeping its doors open, safely serving New Yorkers in crisis, particularly during the COVID-19 pandemic. Joining us now to share a little bit more about the details is the camp manager of Mount Lawn City Camp at Bowery Mission, Jacqueline Ramallis. And uh, Jacqueline, good to have you. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Thank you. And uh, we know the holidays are upon us, and not only the holidays are upon us, but also we're still trying to navigate through COVID-19. So share with me a little bit about how you're able to navigate given the COVID-19 pandemic and still be able to service people during this holiday season. Right, well, the holidays are important to so many people on a personal level, and that means that for our clients as well, this is an important season. So um, for Thanksgiving, what we did was that we had our annual Thanksgiving day, which is one of the biggest day at the Bowery Mission, if not the biggest day. And we were able to accommodate many people um, in outside tents, which is something that was new this year. Usually we have them in our chapel and are, they're able to uh, be around the table with others. This year, uh, we followed safety protocols, we were outside, uh, we made sure everyone was socially distanced, but still were able to enjoy a warm meal. And we also had different uh, performances throughout the day to kind of have that vibe that we would generally have indoors. And then also this Christmas, you know, we're gonna make sure that we do what we can to make sure that our neighbors have a warm meal, even though it will be outdoors. And then for our children's program, we'll be having a toy drive and we'll also be doing a winter coat giveaway, uh, which is especially important this year for many families that are suffering. Yeah, a, a lot of people are really going through it this year and the need for services is out there. So share with us a little bit about uh, the Mount Lawn City Camp and the work that goes on there. Right, well, we've had to switch to virtual classes. So traditionally we would have them in our space right here where I am, uh, having classes at their school, having our mentoring program. But now we're, we're doing virtual classes and still trying to be a part of their daily lives, which is really what they need at this moment. And same for our mentoring program. We have downsized and made sure that we are safe, again, following safety protocols. And especially for this season, trying to be with the family. So for Thanksgiving, we did, um, a turkey giveaway and also a gift card giveaway to try and meet their needs and make sure they have fresh food on Thanksgiving Day. And same for the holidays, like I said. It's it's a, such a crucial time for our families that are going through job loss, that are going through uh, many family members also contracting COVID. And so we wanna make sure that they feel that we are with them. Yeah, and that leads me into, you know, family members contracting COVID, a lot of people being impacted, particularly all across New York City when it comes to COVID-19. Uh, and we do know that grief and loss is also a part of that, too. You have a compassionate care program. Talk to us about the work that they've been doing, particularly in a time like this. Right. At the Compassionate Care Program, we still have our ambassadors that are meeting with people and as safe as possible, they're trying to meet their needs. And so when when uh, an individual comes in and says that they want services, we try and um, interview them and, and accommodate them and see what they see what they need and respond to those needs. And so um, we're still intaking people. Um, and if they need a winter coat, we make sure to get that to them. If they want to be a part of the longer term program, then we make sure to make steps for them to get there as well. And uh, we've done showers before right daily showers for our guests and so because we're not able to have them come into our space we've been able to partner with another um, outside organization that has provided uh, showers outdoors for our guests yeah transitional housing is big for you and um really being able to take care of people in a time of transition talk to me because with the numbers the way that they are we see a lot of people who are unemployed, we see a rising rank of homeless uh, across New York City. What are you seeing uh, with boots on the ground? What can you tell us about the numbers and the people that you are servicing? Uh, given the fact that what we're facing right now, are you seeing more and more people? Yeah, the numbers are growing. There's a longer line that's outdoor up in, around April and May when everything was surfacing and things were we're getting a lot worse very quickly. We started to see the line grow at every meal service. Um, 
then it started to wind down. But again, it's growing again as the numbers are growing. And um, with our families that we serve in the children's program, we've seen significant job loss. I mean, about 75%, a little over that of our families have experienced job loss. And so mm. it, it's a crucial time for them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And a, and, a, and a challenging time. As you look to go forward in 2021, I know the organization is doing its best to actually pivot. Uh, but while we're seeing more and more people that are coming, we also see more and more people that are success stories that come back uh, as alumni. So share with us a little bit about the alumni and the work that they do in coming back and uh, being a blessing to those who are right now in need. Right. Well, the alumni are important to our organization because it's for some of them, it's a lived experience, right? That they can come and and share about themselves and give of themselves to someone else who's in need. And so we see that a lot of our alumni who come back, come back um, passionate, come back with a drive to, to help someone else who may be struggling at this time or who may need a friend or, or someone um, inviting to come into the space with them. And so um, they, they become part of our staff. They become a part of our family here at the Bowery. Yeah. And it's important to uh, have that family atmosphere. For residents, what kind of atmosphere can you tell us that they have? Once a person comes through your doors, what's the atmosphere like? We hear a lot of different things about what it's like behind closed doors, but give us a firsthand experience as to what it's like behind closed doors at the mission. For the residents, they're, they're definitely a priority, right? Because they are people that are calling the Bowery a home where they come every day, they sleep there, um, they have programming there. And so we try our best to meet their needs. And so each of them gets put into a, uh, a success plan, right? For where they would like to be towards the end of their stay at the Bowery mission. And so now in the holidays, what we do is we want to focus more on them. Christmas tends to be smaller in terms of our um, outreach, our food servicing. And it, it tends to be more intentional with our residents, making sure that they have a decorated space for, for uh, the holidays, making sure that they have something to look forward to on Christmas Day. Um, but aside from the holidays, we do try and focus on them meeting their goals. Well, thank you so much, Jacqueline, for joining us and sharing with the West about the work of the Bowery Mission. Definitely a much needed organization, particularly at a time like this, where so many people are out there uh, in need, but you're doing a great job with the homeless population and really doing a great job of really providing help uh, in their time. Thanks a lot for being with us. Thank you for having me. Certainly. Listen, now, if you want more information, we encourage you visit them on their website at Bowery.org. Once again, the website is Bowery.org, or you can follow them on social media at Bowery Mission. Well, we got more to come with you here on Open, so please stay with us. Open returns right after this.